Tacky Goes to Camp by Helen Lester, illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. It didn't exactly look like summer camp, but then summer didn't exactly look like summer in the nice icy land. And yet here were Goodly Lovely Angel Neatly and Perfect and Tacky at Camp Whoopee Ha Ha. Goodly Lovely Angel Neatly and Perfect had packed carefully. They brought sleeping bags, flashlights, socks, a canteen, backpacks, first aid kits, a shovel, a toothbrush and toothpaste, trail mix, and a hat. Tacky brought a TV, roller skates, slippers, cookies, pizza with extra cheese, a pillow, pajamas, a paddle ball, and a party hat. They wore nifty uniforms with their names on them, and every night they slept in real tents. How campy. At Whoopi Ha Ha, their days were filled with wonderful activities. Rock climbing, synchronized swimming, archery, arts and crafts. Tacky's personal favorite was a game he invented called Tippy Canoe and Tacky Too. But the best activity of all came one evening. It was sleep under the stars night. The penguins gathered around the crackling fire and sang the camp song. We're penguins, we cannot ride horses because our legs weren't put on long. But other than that, we're perfection. Just hear us as we sing our song. Whoopee, 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 ha ha ho ho he. Whoopee, 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 ha ha ho ho. He <laughs> Then it was time to make s'mores. Toasted marshmallows and chocolate smashed between two graham crackers. Yum! Finally, just before bedtime, it was scary story time. Ooh. Goodly and Lovely told a tale called Gotcha. It was about a penguin poking swordfish and very scary. Angel and Neatly came up with the creeping crawling plant. Scarier. Perfect followed with a story called The Whooping Wubba Wubba Bird, which was so scary the penguins could barely listen and they held their flippers over their ear places. Then it was Tacky's turn. He announced, I ori is old, e wear a air. He unstuck his smory beak and began again. My story is called Beware the Bear. That sounded promising. Tacky began, Once upon a time, the penguins were gathered around the campfire when they heard a thud, 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 and a great growly voice called out, Beware the bear! Tacky's companion shivered a little. The voice came closer. Beware the bear! Now the penguins held flippers. And closer. Beware the bear! They squoze their eyes shut and waited. And then, said Tacky, a bear thudded up to the penguins and announced, Howdy do, my name is Beware. Beware the bear. Get it? <laughs> yuck, yuck. The end. A silence followed. Then a chorus of, Oh, scary story time had ended as not-so-scary story night, so the disappointed penguins crawled into their sleeping bags. Only one penguin remained unbagged. Tacky needed s'more s'mores, at least a few dozen, more or less. Finally satisfied, he dove in head first, not worrying about having crumbs in his bed, nor was he aware that his sleeping bag was lying on the leftovers he just couldn't quite finish. Much, much later, well after midnight as the penguins slumbered, there came a thud, 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 and a great growly voice boomed out, Beware the bear! Up shot goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect, and what they saw was a bear, a bear to beware of! Something smells yummy, growled the bear. 
He helped himself to one marshmallow, two squares of chocolate, three graham crackers, and four s'more toasting sticks. Then he ate the picnic basket, gobbled up a guitar, and swallowed a fire log whole. Not yummy, he bellowed, and I'm still hungry in my tummy. He hovered over goodly, lovely angel, neatly and perfect. The penguins always did everything as a group, and what this group needed to do now was run. But Tacky, Tacky, wake up, Tacky, wake up! They cried. Once more, murmured Tacky from the depths of his sleeping bag. Tacky, wake up! They repeated. Frantically, they tapped him and poked him. At last, when they tickled his webbies, he popped up and. The leftovers upon which Tacky had slept had become stuck to his sleeping bag, forming a grim, crackery, chocolatey, marshmallowy face. Gadzooks! gasped the bear. What a horrid looking thing! It was huge, with mean eyes and green skin and webbed feet yet. The bear backed away. Tacky waddled forward, his muffled voice calling, Want more? The bear backed farther, falling over a log, and Tacky continued waddling forward. Want more? The terrified bear cried out, No more! I don't want more! No more! Yelping, I'm out of here! The bear got out of there fast. As he sped off, he thought to himself, that was embarrassing, but at least I'll have a scary story to tell around my campfire tonight. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect hugged Tacky. They didn't even mind getting sticky. Tacky was an odd bird, but a nice bird to have around. <laughs>